Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be planning the week of March 1st through the 7th using these full boxes from Glam Planner. I believe this collection, or at least where the full the collection that the full boxes are from, is called Pride Rock, I want to say. It is a lion themed kit and I used that kit this week because this week is the week of World Wildlife Day. So I wanted to have some sort of animal theme going on and this was the only um, sheet that I had that was somewhat related to animals that I could use. But since I got this sheet in a grab bag, I didn't actually purchase the full kit. I needed to supplement with some other of my functional items because you know just the full boxes isn't enough for a full spread. So what I did was I looked through the other functional items that I had, some of those other sheets. Um, so those two washies right there, I also got in a mega grab bag from Glam Planner along with those other functional items like those two sheets with the checklist and the half boxes and some extra glitter headers. Um, basically everything that I'm using that you see here is from Glam Planner from some sort of grab bag. I think so far I've purchased two of them and I really like them. They definitely go a long way and last a really long time and you can get multiple multiple uh, what we call Franken kits out of them. So if you want to save some money and kind of use your creativity a little bit, I definitely recommend getting those grab bags from Glam Planner or any other shop that does them as well. So here I'm just putting the glitter headers. I thought these colors matched really well with the kit and these glitter headers actually are from the same kit that that label add-on that I also am use, gonna use in this kit. So I thought that I would focus on using those because those colors actually do match each other um, and so it would kind of make it a, a little bit more of a cohesive spread even if it they are from multiple collections so like I said I am using glitter headers and if you've been watching my plan with me's before you know that when I use glitter headers I don't mark them like evenly across I kind of just do it where I feel like it throughout the day so it kind of has like a, a nice spread uh, flow through it so I don't have to worry about fitting um, my functional items in a certain limited area if that makes sense which you'll see as I continue with the plan with me um, and again I'm just kind of putting down the full boxes first I like to do that just to see um, and kind of lay out the base I have kind of like a template ish that I use for full boxes I like to kind of you know start with the full box up top in the sidebar and then go to the middle and then to the bottom and then back up to the top for Wednesday and kind of flow like that to kind of evenly disperse the full boxes I sometimes change it up depending on if there is a double box like there is in this kit or not um, but if you've been watching my plan with me you know that or you'll recognize that um, I kind of put the full boxes in the same spot and I don't put the middle ones down and until I know what my plans are for that day so I know how to space it because like I said I don't put them in the same exact spot every single day so here I'm just finishing up the sidebar as always at the bottom I have a habit tracker which I just track my dinners for the week above that I just have a checklist and that half box right there I use to mark the week of the year in this case it is week 10 if you're interested and then I just decided to put that full box up in the sidebar just because that is the only full box that is like a um not relate specifically related to the Lion King it's got like the flat lay with the camera and the clothes and everything and I wanted to keep the animals focused um in the weekly spread so moving on to Monday I actually changed this up a little bit I'm not entirely sure when I think I do it off camera actually but I originally just used those half boxes because Colton and I went shopping that morning. I was just going to mark some of the, um, oh, I did do it on camera. I'm changing it right here. So I wanted to do a checklist instead to actually mark down all of the shops that we went to. We actually went ring shopping. So not actually to like buy the rings, but to kind of look at them and try them on because I had no idea what my size is or what I liked or what I didn't like. So we went to just look a little bit. So we started at K, then we went to Jared's and then Zales. 
And then after we went shopping, we were kind of near a mall. So we decided to um, shop around the mall a little bit and just, you know, spend the day that we had together. So we went to Bath and Body Works as well as the Lego store. And I think we briefly popped into a couple other stores at the mall, but these were the only ones that we actually bought from. So that was the only one that I actually decided to mark down. And so again, I have that full box there, which is a little crooked. I'll fix that later. Um, and then in the afternoon, I read, which you'll see me put down in a second. And the book sticker is from Planner Kate. That TV sticker is for New Girl. We watched New Girl um, after I read a little bit. And that sticker I made myself. I don't sell it. I don't have an Etsy shop. I just make it for personal use. And then in the evening, um, we started out with a James Bond or 007 Lego set. It was his Aston Martin car from I think the first movie or the second movie I'm not sure um my boyfriend is a huge James Bond fan and when we went to the Lego store we bought him or I bought him a Lego set for his birthday so later that night we both worked on it together mainly him because it was his present um I helped a little bit um but that's what we did to finish out Monday evening on Tuesday we started off the day going to Publix which is the grocery store and so I forgot to mention, I, I forgot to put a weekend banner down in this spread as well. But Monday and Tuesday, at least in this spread, is when Colton has his days off. So those are te technically our weekend, um, which, yeah. So that's why I just wanted to explain why we're doing all the shopping and stuff um, during a weekday. But anyway, we went grocery shopping. Then we cleaned a little bit, followed by some laundry. I typically do laundry on our Sunday so the last day or the second day that he has off because he's about to go to work for the next day and you know kind of have clean clothes fresh for the week and then I planned a little bit since again technically that is my Sunday so I want to organize the rest of the week for my plans and stuff um, and that sticker is from Libby and Co and I forgot to mention the laundry sticker is also from Libby and Co along with the cleaning one and then the um, grocery shopping one is from Planner Kate. And then I watched, or we watched a movie, and I didn't have a movie marquee that fits, so I just put this smaller one. We watched Doctor Strange. We are currently, well, at the time of, of um, filming this with the spread, we are going through Marvel. As I'm doing this voiceover, we've actually finished, so you'll see a couple other movies um, sprinkled in to my spreads later on. So then we watched New Girl, and I read to finish out the evening. Moving on to Wednesday, I just watched some YouTube in the morning and print and cut a whole bunch of stickers for um, my March spreads. I'm doing it a little bit late. I typically like to do it at the end of the month rather than at the beginning of the month, but this was kind of the only time I had time to do it. And so I put that glitter header there and then that's where the um, that sticker, those... Um, Sticker sheet stickers, which I think are so cute. They're from Planner Kate. They're my favorite. I used those to mark that I organized stickers. And then at in the evening, there was an Erin Condren town hall. I forgot which town hall it was for. Um, I don't think it was for the Life Planner launches. I think it was just like their spring town hall or something. Um, so I attended that. And then moving on to Thursday. So both Thursday and Friday morning, it was actually pretty much all day, not even just the morning. Um, I had a coding workshop through school, so I just wanted to mark both of those down at the same time since I used the same exact sticker for it. And then, um, th so talking about Thursday, I, after the workshop, I just filmed a little bit. And then when Colton came home, we worked on the Lego a little bit more. Um, we watched Sleepy Hollow. We Typically what we're trying to do is have like one half hour show, which is typically like a comedy or something, and then one hour length show, which is typically a drama um, that we're watching. So New Girl and Sleepy Hollow are currently those TV shows. And then again, surprise, surprise, I finished off the evening by reading. Moving on to Friday, again, like I mentioned, I had the coding workshop in the morning, and then I also filmed right after the workshop. And then the because I filmed back to back two days and I, I guess depending on what I filmed, it might've been a haul or whatever it was, I needed to organize my stickers. So I used that Planner Cade sticker sheet sticker again, which I, I love so much. I'm probably going to buy more sheets. I don't use them that often just because I don't really organize my stickers that often or use, need to use that sticker for whatever activity, but I think they're so cute and I just, I really like them. Um, and then later in the afternoon, I read a little bit. And then when Colton came home, we played a Lego Harry Potter. And that Harry Potter sticker, it's actually Hermione, is from Once More With Love. 
Moving on to Saturday, I watch some YouTube in the morning and then I watch Sense and Sensibility in the afternoon because I'm, I'm big, I wouldn't say big, I guess, Jane Austen fan, but I do really, really like Pride and Prejudice and I've, I realize that I've never actually seen Sense and Sensibility. I've seen some like modern day versions of it, but never the original story. And it was honestly, it wasn't really my favorite. Pride and Prejudice is definitely still the top of the list for me. And then I watched some Frasier. And then when Colton came home, we played Lego Harry Potter. And again, I read in the afternoon or in the evening. Moving on to Sunday, I edited in the morning, cleaned a little bit. And that cleaning sticker, which you'll see is from Libby and Co. I Skyped my parents as always, watched Frasier afterwards, and then spent Sunday night planning and organizing. And I also forgot to mention earlier, but that um, the sticker sheet that you see me pull in a lot with the icons is kind of a DIY extra binder that I made. Um, I have a video. I'll go ahead and card it up above if you're interested. But that's where I store all of my leftover icons that aren't on a full sticker sheet. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew where that was from. And here is the full spread with all of the script stickers. I add them after the fact because I hate my handwriting. So I print and cut and make them myself. And then I'm about to show you what I have left from the um, kit that I use or my Franken kit that I used myself. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.